So hello guys and welcome to the preview of the Advanced Keylogger using C Sharp 2015. Now this video is just a preview, which means that I will go and run the Keylogger and we will see what the result is. Now in order to get the source code and have access to the 2 hours and 35 minutes video tutorial, you can click on the link that is in the description and you can find there the project. So what I'm going to do right now is to go and open my PowerPoint and just have a quick look to the features. Excellent. So as you can see, some of the features are these. So we have an undetectable keylogger, which means that no other virus can detect the keylogger. And of course, the user also cannot find out that the keylogger is already installed. Uh, we have, uh, for the keylogger is hard to, to delete. So it is very difficult to find the keylogger and find the way that you have to uh, follow in order to delete the keylogger. Uh, the reason is because our keylogger has no installation. So the keylogger is a small exe size file and in order to run it, you just double click it and it will run and it will, uh, you know, install there without installation. Just double click it and it will run. And this is why it is hard to delete and find out. Now, uh, this keylogger will also get information about the user, including operating system information, networking information, anything about IP, MAC, etc. So we have more than 150 pieces of information. Uh, the keylogger also gets the active window, title of each uh, window that you open. The keylogger also goes to the startup folder and also to the registry. There is a startup registry that uh, programs use now in order to auto start. And this is where also we put the keylogger except the startup folder. Now, the keylogger, of course, gets keystrokes and, of course, any kind of special case. So exclamation marks, uh, hashes, I don't know what else. So any kind of special case, you're getting that. And, of course, when the user presses the backspace or presses the enter or presses the volume up or the mute button, you're getting all those special cases. The keylogger can take screenshots and you are actually setting the time that you want to take the screenshots and also the quality. And by doing some modifications, you can get also a video capturing out of it. And the keylogger also deletes web browser data uh, for the most uh, used web browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Opera, and Internet Explorer. You can also add your own browsers there. We do that now in order to get passwords, emails, and credit cards, and you can actually see in the video tutorial why and how you can do that. Now, I will go and run my keylogger, and we will see the result in an email. Okay, so what I did was to run my keylogger, and now we are having uh, the result, which is uh, inside an email. So I will go and open the email. First of all, we are starting with the time uh, that the user has set the computer. Later then, we are continuing with some national information. For example, we have the IP address of the user. And if you take this IP address, you can find very easy uh, the country that the user is from. For example, I can go and search on the internet, find location from IP. And we can copy this IP address and we can find very easy, very easily uh, the location of the user. So let me do this. As you can see, this is my IP address that we are getting right here. So you can find out that I am from this country, Albania, from this city, Tirana, and I am using this ISP, Ibisnet. And this is everything, all of this information is actually true. So this is something that you can get in order to find the nationality of the, of the user. Later then, we are continuing with the system language, with the operating system language. Uh, in my case, I'm using Windows 10 uh, in the English language. And you can find out the, uh, the version of the operating system right here. As you can see, the operating system that I'm using at this moment is Microsoft Windows 10 Home Edition. Later, you can continue and uh, you can take a look at the other operating system information that you're getting right here. So this is everything related to my system. 
Then we're, we continue with networking information. Uh, here now we have some, uh, uh, you know, we have MAC address, we have information about Ethernet, about adapters, about Bluetooth, everything. So these are all information about networking. And this is actually, uh, you know, heaven for hackers. I mean, if, if the hacker knows uh, everything about your, your operating system and everything about your networking, then pretty much he has all the information needed for, uh, you know, to hack your system. So all of the information, all, all the lines with the green color are information about networking. As you can see, there, there, there's a lot of information there. Then we continue with the running processes. So as you can see right now, uh, all these processes are processes that I'm running right now. For example, you can see that I'm running Chrome, uh, or you can see that uh, I'm also, let's see what else we can get from here. Um, I'm using an Asus uh, laptop. And also you can see some other information like uh, and I was also running some blind text. I'm also running cam recorder. So all these are the processes that I'm running at this moment. And you can get an idea of what the user is using. Then we continue with the active windows and whatever the user is typing. So in the purple color, like here and inside the, the, the brackets, you can see the title, the active windows title. Now, under this, you can see that we, there is something there with black color. This is what I have typed, okay? So what I have done is to open a new tab and uh, type YouTube and then, uh, you know, type, uh, press the tab button and then search how deep is your low. And actually we're getting all this right here. Then I went to this uh, URL and then you can see the title of the song and then uh, I moved to my sublime text back to the song back to the sublime text then i went to microsoft visual studio back to the song i opened uh, the command prompt prompt and i typed ping google i deleted i deleted the the e here so you can see that i have pressed backspace so i have deleted the e here and then i type la.com again so i can have you know uh the google.com properly you can see that i have pressed uh, left uh, ctrl and c to stop the ping and then I pressed F arrow and minus T. I have added to the text. So all these are, are these are all information that you can get uh, from this keylogger. And everything that you have typed, everything that you have visited is seen there. And I have run this uh, keylogger for three minutes. So for three minutes, we have a total of 20 images. All right. And the, 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 the quality of the images is actually pretty good. So if I open this image, you can see that everything is pretty much, you know, readable. You can read what what it says. So this is very good. I mean, this is only 20% quality. And you can even lower this to 10%. And you can lower also the time uh, that you're taking a, an image. So you can make that a video capturing. Actually, I'm explaining a lot of stuff inside the video. So you should get the video to understand better. And uh, these are all the images that have they been taken uh, during the execution of the keylogger. And uh, these are all the information that you're getting from the user. Also, I want to say something else about, uh, about the, the registry and about the startup folder. So this is something that uh, you cannot see inside this email, but the virus is also installed application data. And you go to roaming and you go to Microsoft and you go to windows and then you go to start menu programs, startup. As you can see right here, there, this is a virus that we have in the startup folder. Uh, and this auto starts every time the computer auto starts. However, we also have the virus inside our registry, as I said. As you can see, there is a driver key here that points to this path. If I go now to application data roaming, so application data roaming, and then I go to Windows, you can see that there is also, again, the virus there. And this is where this key right here points. And this is also out of start, like for example, Google Drive or Skype, etc. Now, there is also another function that you can also cannot see right now, which is the function that deletes the browser data. That function is clever. So it is not deleting the browser data immediately. It waits 
a couple of uh, computer restarts in order to do that. Uh, in the, we, we do that in order uh, to be you know, silent and the user cannot understand, cannot find out that the virus has deleted his or her uh, browser data. And by deleting the browser data, the user has to enter again, for example, Facebook password or Facebook email. And this is why you are getting later uh, the passwords and the emails. So this is everything about the preview. Uh, there is actually a lot of code down. So if I open my Solution Explorer, you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight classes of code. And of course, if I collapse this, you can see the code. So I'm not doing that. Anyway, guys, so this is everything about, uh, about the preview of the Skilogger. Hopefully, uh, you like this, this tutorial. And uh, this is a 2.35 hours of video lecturing, uh, showing you guys how you can write your own advanced key logger using C-Sharp in 2015. Thank you for watching and see you later.